Okay, so in this project, what we're doing is uh, we got a cabin in the woods. We've got um, no running water, but we want to be able to have the sink work like a regular sink. Now, I got a bunch of parts together. Uh, I was looking all over the place trying to find exactly what parts need to do what. And I think I got a pretty good setup, but um, I wanted to share it with you so in case you're looking for the same thing. Now, um, to start off with, is the hose that attaches um, to the sink, uh, the faucet, is just a half inch on one side and three eighths on the other. Um, it just depends on your setup. But so I've got a half inch to three eighths. I already attached that. From that, um, I went and bought. Um, it is. It's got to be compression. Um, three eighths OD to three eighths FIP. Whatever the hell that means, but basically, um, it's going to allow me to screw in to to that with this piece. I don't need all those pieces to screw into that piece, and then the inside of this will screw to this, and then that will attach to my rubber hose, three eighths diameter, which will attach to a barb strainer filter. That's already got the little barb sticking out, which will attach to this little sea flow water pump. From there, a little hose will go, some more of this hose, will go down into this Coleman water carrier. Now, um, I'm going to get bigger containers, but for now I got this Coleman water carrier. So I was thinking, how can I make this hose go down in this water carrier to, to pull up from the pump? So what I did is I took a little, I took one of these and sawed the neck off. So basically it looks like this. Now my hose will fit down in here and it's a snug fit, perfectly snug fit. And then the hose will go to the bottom, so it'll pull up, the strainer will be there, it'll go into the pump, pump it up to the uh, faucet so when you turn the handle on, water will come out. When you turn the handle off, the pump will shut off. Now the pump is 24 volts, um, I, if you had a solar, or is it 12 volts? I got a 12 volt model. So if you had a solar 12 volt system, um, there's the different model numbers, um, then you know you could just hook it up to that. I don't, so I had to get a little 12 volt power supply, 5 amp, uh, and I'll list all the part numbers and links to where I bought this stuff. But um, 12 volts is 35 pounds of pressure, so basically when you turn the faucet off, the pressure will build up, of course, and then it'll just shut the pump off. So let's get started. Okay. Here's the work? pump. Now, obviously you can wire this in with a switch. I don't have a switch, but I'll get one eventually, something, I don't know, we'll figure it out. But anyway, here's the positive, negative. Now this power supply, just a little five, five amp power supply, but it comes with a little end cord. Now you can get a little adapter that plugs in here that you can wire to, or you can cut the end off. I'm just gonna cut the end off, use some little wire beanies, and bean them to them. You could use wire nuts, solder would be the best with heat shrink, but I don't have all that. Just hoping red is positive. Should get a meter and check it. But I'm gonna live on the wild side. Just do it. If it blows up, I'll buy another one. I'm guessing that's the water that's in it from start. There's supposed to be a little arrow on here to tell you which way is in and out. There's the arrow on the bottom, so output is here. This is the input. Okay, so this is my, it's hard to kind of push it, oh there it goes. You can push it that way, or I can push it that way a lot easier. But you see how tight of a fit that is? 
So this is going to go down inside my water carrier. Wish I had something to keep it on the bottom. Which means that it won't get all. Let's see here. I think if I leave it like that, it'll be fine. I'm guessing we want an inline filter so we don't, um, you know, suck up anything into the pump and kill it. Need a clamp on this side. The the uh, the one goes into the bottom. It's fine. But I'm gonna go ahead and put a little clamp on every every piece that I do. Oh, that takes Phillips. Awesome. Barely went in. I'm just going to do two screws for now. There. Look at that. Nice and secure. Ha! Clamps be damned. Now, to the pump. That's the outbound, so this is the inbound. Okay. See if this works. Oh, oh snap. Look at there. Now, that's not a lot of water pressure. But how much do you need to wash dishes, wash your hands? Obviously, I'm not taking a shower now. I heard that you can take the same pump and rig it up for a shower. And I might do that for an outside shower. Um, that'd be pretty cool. Have you a container outside that gets heated. Um, maybe get me a, a, a one of these 5-gallon or get me a 15-gallon. A 5-gallon would be fine. Uh, I think this thing pump runs at... Um, one point two gallons per minute so five gallons four minutes shower um, and, you know if you're trying to conserve water you're just gonna um, get in and get out I can get a 15 gallon tank but anyway so if I get a little tank rig up another pump the shower head so I might do that in another project but um, what I've got to do now is secure my wires, run them to an outlet. Of course, I'm not going to use this outlet. I've got an outlet back over here. So I'll run that to an outlet. And um, I might get a little clamp to kind of hold this right. Anyway, thanks for watching.